good in uh, I got a story for you. What's that? So I told you last night for Paul about Marilyn trying to tell me about the Boston Marathon. Oh. She gets so excited she can't speak. She comes running into my that? room. Can you see it? Did I tell that to you, Paul? It's bad on your mother's eyes, Marilyn. What do you want to say? On my hair. I'm okay. When the Boston Marathon came to me, Marilyn came to my room. Turn the TV, turn the TV. Oh, yeah. Come on. Boom. I'll be closer to you, Mom. Yeah, you can turn on the light. Yes. Yeah, she was fine. I thought it was wrong. Boston. Yeah, it's bad for eyes because you don't have a light in general. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. You're wrong, but... Well, Bonnie's first name. Well, it's just because she of that light. She deserves it. Yeah, yeah. He's worked for enough. What are you looking for, Mom? You know? I don't know. Wow. Well, you had some old pictures here. You had Bonnie and Uncle Buck. When they got married. Well, I like what we were we were talking about there, and the, um, about with uh, with John, and uh, he was uh, all all those different jobs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so John was so you guys got engaged in 1941, and then married uh -huh. in 44, and uh, just something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, November 25th. Because John was born in 45, so you got married November 25th, 44. Okay. Yeah. And then the kids started popping up. Well, after Dad came back. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Like I say, so Larry went out for a while, and he was milking, and he actually had a horse. Yeah. Drawn. Yeah. Yes, he did have a horse. Yeah. Oh, he does sell horse milk. Too. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was a milkman. So, so when he was in the service, he said he was uh, he was a medic. And he what was, was the pharmacist's title? first yeah. mate? Was pharmacist's first, first mate. Yeah. Right. Okay. But he actually he, told, he performed operations because you know back then it was all hands on. It was anybody, yeah. And he took out appendixes, repaired bullet wounds, whatever had to be done. Yeah. He did it and delivered babies. Tape worms. Delivered babies. <laughs> delivered babies. <laughs> Tape worms. Really? Uh -huh. Did he do this on on the ship or did on the or like ship when he? Okay. And he was stationed in, uh, you said he was in Alaska. Was he in right. um, around Japan or China, around um, there, or oh, yeah. Hawaii? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all of all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. All the Pacifics. What island was he the first man on so many years? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. The island, yeah. I forgot. Remember when he got shot? Yeah. What's that? He got shot in the leg. He got shot in the leg. He thought uh, it was Uncle Joe flying in, so he's waving his arms. Oh, no. And it was a Japanese. He said <laughs> oh, he got shot in the leg. That no, That's I what know. he told me. He might have been lying. Dad had exactly. Uh, uh, no, I don't think That so. sounds like one of their stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Rick, but well, I, th I think he got you on that he one. He probably did, but it, it always sounded good. It the, sounded plausible. There, there was a story about Joe trying to find uh, John because he heard yeah. that he had just left on a ship. And, right. and uh, so he went flying to like look for the ship. Him, Jim, Dad, I think even Uncle Bill, Bill. were all in the same city at the same time. Yeah. Trying to make connections. I don't think they ever did. Yeah, I heard that there was three of them. I didn't know Jim was also there. I mean, maybe yeah. so. Maybe you're, maybe that's so. I couldn't swear. I wonder what city that was. Do you know? Or what country that was? That was over in the... Ch China. It was in China somewhere. China, 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 China. Yeah. 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 Joseph told you about that. Yeah, he, you know what? Singapore or something. One of those. Yeah, because Joe was involved in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Uncle Joe would know that for sure. Which one? Did yeah. he talk to you about that? Or? Yeah, he did. Oh. I, I don't know if I asked him what city that was, though. Uh -huh. They probably should have. Yeah. Yeah, they used to meet, and uh, they weren't supposed to be in the same place at the same time, but they would manage to get together. Is, is that so they wouldn't wipe out families or something like that? Like, uh, well, that might have been part of it. That could have been. Not yeah. so the Solomon Act was in effect yet. We had we had to discuss stuff like that. It was just that their orders and everything didn't quite 
get them where they needed to be at the right time. You were in a service? No. No? You're in a okay. How about you? Yeah. You, you, oh, that's right. You're Vietnam. 68 to 70. I didn't go to Vietnam. Luckily, I ended up in Korea okay. for a year. Okay. Which was bad yeah. enough. Yeah, bad. Cold. Talking about getting cold. It was cold there, huh? Cold. I didn't think about that country as being a cold country. But yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I know Japan gets very cold. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Well, yeah, Japan was just that's, uh, next door. Is that Joe and his mother? Maybe. I think that's Ida, Ida Howard, and, Ida, that's right. um, and Patrick. Patrick Sheridan, yeah. Okay. He was the uh, uh, sheriff in, uh, in okay. Chicago. Oh, that's what he just showed me. Okay. I think that's what I'll tell you about her, grand, her dad used to get mad at me. We had lived above the bakery. Yeah. They had a... Uh... <laughs> Who's that? Oh, my, your, your dad? My dad. My oh, dad. your dad. My dad had a bakery, and we lived above the bakery. Oh, and, oh that smells good. And he was a little guy. Huh? And, and they had like a skylight up there. Yeah, yeah and then there was a. And did a you peek down inside there? Or? Yeah, there More was than a, a More roof. than that. <laughs> the roof had uh, pebbles on it. Uh huh. You know, and uh, my dad had to somebody come and make a fence it in so that. Uh, my kids could be out there playing because yes. it was a busy street. Yeah, they want to fall off the street. Yeah, yeah. And, and he would go and he would peek down. There was a window that looked up into the, the bakery, and you could see that he was uh, baking bread underneath that particular window. And uh, he, my dad would get mad because he'd throw pebbles I down there. I take pebbles and drop them. I just throw them down in the dough. <laughs> was an open window. Oh, wow. Just enough where I can get my arm in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sprinkle some extra. Uh. Yeah. Put a little crunch in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was what, always a mischief maker. Kind of? Sure. I, yeah. Yeah, you don't know anything. Yeah, I was always a mischief maker. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I had fun. Yeah. Yeah, you, you enjoyed life, honey, always. He used Oh, Paul. Paul, yeah. Paul, yeah. they say in German. Paul sent Paul. Paul is bad. Paul is bad. Do you like your soda? Yeah, please. Thank you. Are you getting dry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You want like something to drink, honey? I just had my third cup of coffee up by two. I don't need any more money. <laughs> 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 Do we need this book anymore? Dear, uh, do we find wedding. a picture? What's that? What was wedding the picture? picture? Your wedding picture. You want to see your... Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. Yeah, we'll take that off your lap. You need to take a rest, Ma? I'm fine. Well, you guys want to go downtown. It's okay. We can go later on. Um, I don't know where you want it. If he wants he to wants hit the, the loop or you want to hit the arch, what do you want to do? I think he wants to hit the arch. Arch. No. The arch. No, I got a, I got a babysitter. I do. You got grandkids? Oh, yes. yes. That's where Kathy is now, my wife. She's babysitting one of them. Oh. She's got the a ball. ball. I got the Riley and Griffin this afternoon. Hmm. In case you called on the 8th, I've got all his kids overnight for the 8th and the 9th. Those are good kids, so <clears throat> Nick needs a little settling down, but he's a character. Yeah, he's fine. Was John the he's tallest one? Was John the tallest brother? He seemed to be the, the tallest. Or was he just the oldest? Because when I see the old. picture, he was... Dino's the tallest. No, but the oldest... Who's the tallest? He, he, met, he means in John, he mean with John and Joe and yeah. Bill. Dad was the tallest in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong family. Yeah. Was he the tallest? He seemed to be. Yeah. Like when yeah. I see them all standing there, six he's, foot. he's yeah. back center. Yeah, and he then. hit six foot. He was proud of that hitting six foot. Yeah. No, I don't know how tall Uncle Bill was. He wasn't as tall. He was five, five eight, five nine. Yeah. Wow. So when you're a little kid, everybody looks big. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 
I just remember coming in when we lived in Boston, coming in making breakfast for us and everything. All of a sudden, we wake up and there's Uncle Bill. Remember? Uh, he, he was back there when, when you were like five or? I lived in Boston. I was in fourth, fifth grade. Okay, so this is mid 50s then? Yeah. Yeah. And what happened? Uncle Bill would show up and make breakfast every now and then we lived yeah. in Boston. Oh, yeah, I forgot about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I like I did. I should have made breakfast for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of, he's hitting up. <laughs> tomorrow I'll, I'll make good yeah. for, my, uh, for my grandfather. You said uh, you kind of favor your father, Paul. What's that? Oh, I do. Yeah, his father and his grandfather. Yeah, yeah he just, he's just oh, a yeah. bill in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were looking. We were looking at. He's yeah. not too. He's not too. Uh, fond of his father. Fond of his father. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh me. Yeah. Well, I did. Um, he doesn't know. It's it's like uh, I think you said earlier. It's tragic, you know. It or it's uh, it's a shame, you know, the way that things turned out for for him, you know. Uh, Does anybody even know where he is? I don't. Um, no, we suspect he's uh, in Chicago, you know. Somewhere, you know, somewhere, and yeah, I didn't, I didn't try to look for him. Oh, yeah, yeah that would, that would have been too much on him right I, now. I don't know if I thought it would be too hard, or if I really just don't think that I would be able to find him because he's ill. You know, he's mentally ill. He might not know who he is. So, yeah, I know he's yeah, pretty yeah. heavy to drugs. And so you don't yeah. hear a lot of good stuff about him. Yeah, no, no. That's, a fact. that's a fact. Just a lot of people yeah. saying, yeah, no. it's too yeah, bad. He grew up in the air when there was a lot of. A lot of drugs and everything. Yeah. Well, so did you. Well, yeah. yeah. And you turned out all right. What was his name? I mean, I'm just saying. You know. Well, yeah. Everybody makes their choices. And so yeah. yeah. Some, Some of them get leave yeah. it alone. And, you know, they get it, they outgrow. That's kid stuff. Yeah. I've seen it on the Facebook. Did you know LSD? Oh. No, just <laughs> <laughs> I'm already on it. Uh, <laughs> Where am I? Uh, I, just, I never got into it because I've seen what it did to people, especially when it's in the service for <coughs> the guys. That... Yeah, and you respected your mother. Oh, yeah. And your father. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a, that's a big yeah. surprise. We had guys that were getting ready to go back to the stateside, and, and they were hooked on coke and all that. Yeah. Well, I got couldn't go black back tar and go What's that? At Saigon, you got a lot of them got hooked on that black tar over there. Hmm. Yeah, I stuff was available. Yeah, Vietnam. Sorry about. Yeah, but you're talking about Korea. Right. So, uh, but um, so back, so going back again. So after the war, John was a um, milk truck driver, uh -huh. and uh, you were, I imagine, taking care, started taking care uh, of a I lot of kids, things. and uh, yeah. you guys were, were both busy because you guys, um, so you guys lived back in Boston for. Like how many years or what five time years period? Right. Oh, just five years? Yeah, we started they, off in Chicago and then we moved to Pacific. Pacific? Missouri, yeah. which is oh. about 30 miles. So you started there. off in Chicago. That's where you were? Were you born there? I was born in Chicago. Okay, and then so when you were very young, you moved to Pacific. Right, I was. And then moved to Boston before you were four. And yeah, now I moved to Kansas, Mission, Kansas for a year. Uh -huh. They want to we get did, a guy he was Chicago. transferred a lot at that time. Oh, he was transferred a lot. I was going to ask, yeah. was that why? I was getting a to Chicago, first and second grade in Pacific, mm -hmm. third grade in Mission, Kansas, mm -hmm. and then fourth through eighth grade in Boston. Fourth to eighth, okay. And then we moved back to St. Louis and Bay So fourth you would be about 10 years old, so that would be like 58 to 62, you know, that time? 63 uh, or when, when, when we moved? Well, maybe, when we moved that, no, maybe 1960. Dino so was 65 63. What's that? He was 63. Dino was just born. He was born in 62. Do you remember when Kennedy was assassinated? Or where you oh, were, yeah. Where you were? Yep. Here. I was in ancient history class. In Boston? No, it's here in St. Louis. The oh. first year we moved in. Oh. And they brought in. I still remember where I was sitting when they said it. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. It's kind of like when the Twin Tower blew up. I know exactly yeah. where I was then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how that comes to you. Right. Yeah. The Oklahoma bombing. Yeah. 95. But anyway, yeah, that's when Dad was working for Baxter. 
Yeah. Up and up through Boston. What did he do? What did he do for Baxter? He was a salesman. He was a salesman. salesman. He was district manager actually. Out there. So, oh, okay. Yeah, you said he was smart, so I imagine he could also talk to people too, pretty oh, well. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was Irish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see, so... Yeah, he kissed the Blarney Stone. He kissed, yeah. <laughs> but he had a big heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the reason we had to move was they wanted to fire some guy, and he didn't have the heart to fire him. Because the guy was getting ready to retire, and he didn't want to pay him the benefits. Suffering it. So they fired him. So that's when he found the John Beard, and that's when we moved back here. Uh, that that is a guy with uh, quite a bit of honor. Integrity. Integrity. Oh yeah, he was. Well, no wonder he got turned off. Right? He was very devoted to God. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. God, yes. I, I see. Uh, was he also a shrine, a shriner? Um, they uh, see there's an uh, Albar. No, he didn't serve. No, that's just a toilet cover. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I thought because my my grandfather was, you know. Yeah, and, and he was into uh, that. Okay. He was a member of the Blessed Heart and Sacred Heart and. All the Thousand men, Men's Club when he was here. Thousand Men's Club. He's a member of everything. The Men's Club up at church. Oh, yeah. Oh, sounds like an honorable guy. And then he was a runner cop here, yep. too. Well, yeah. and he was oh, a volunteer okay. police officer for 20 stopped. years. He never stopped. He was always, always doing something. You know, he sometimes I me. would get angry because <laughs> it would take away from me, too, with all the kids and everything. But he was out helping humanity, yeah. <laughs> and that would make me angry. Yeah, yeah, because God, you need your time yeah. too. Because he knew I could handle it, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> he had a way of getting kids to work for him. So I remember we lived in Boston. They had a parking lot up in the church. Mm -hmm. Pretty good sized parking lot. They needed to clean one. So he organized a group of kids, got some brooms, got a bunch of soda, and got them sweeped out in the whole parking lot. Just he didn't have any problem with it. They all wanted to do it for him. Yeah. And he probably wouldn't remember that. No, I know he did those kind of things. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like he had a lot of like, in, like personal skills. I mean, not only could he sell people things, but he also he could, was he was a good yeah, community. He could gain he trust. People person. And, yeah. yeah, and being a volunteer. He would police officer. We used to have uh, CYC dances when we lived here. Big, he used to volunteer to Christian Youth Camp. Hmm? Christian Youth Camp. Yeah, Christian Youth Council. Council. Okay. Yeah. Catholic Youth Council. Catholic Youth Council. Yeah. Okay. And then we back then it was pretty big. We'd have a dance like at our church and gym. There'd be five, six hundred kids coming. Mm -hmm. And he'd be one of the guys who volunteered to keep everybody. Young drunks out and yeah. make sure he did it to something for his own. Yeah. Yeah, but I me? was always left at home, you know, oh, with okay. the kids. <laughs> and what did he do to Monsignor O'Toole? What was in the Oh, oh it's in the book. I can't remember. When he arrested him, kind of just for fake. Yeah. Uh, he did the Monsignor. He goes and he arrests, and, and everybody was so angry with him. And it was a big joke. <laughs> but they all couldn't see how he would go and arrest my senior. <laughs> it was funny. And it was so funny. My senior wrote a book, <coughs> and he actually put that in the book. I've cool. Got, I've got the book. That's right, you probably do have the book. Uh huh. That's cool. So, yeah, yeah. he was a pretty never, good man. Never a dull moment. Yes. And when he wanted his car washed and wax, he get all the kids in there put together and say, "Hey, I got two cases oh, of soda here." And so it was always the carrot, huh? Yeah. And they they all come in there and they work get like that. Get some juice, caffeine, and, and uh, remember he had those car washing parties. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wasted. At least that was at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wasted a lot of water, but they, the kids had fun. Oh, he was out there supervising. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Is that? He sit be? back. And, have a beer while he watched everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to ask, did, did, was he, I guess I know Joe couldn't drink. Um, no, because of his beer. Yeah. Joe? John. Oh, okay, yeah, because I think Joe couldn't drink because of some condition he yeah. had. I already never really was a, a drinker yeah. at all because I don't think he could. Yeah. But uh, John. I don't think he would. I think he no, was, no, no, he, he had the. He did have? 
he had a condition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay. Do you remember when uh, Dad went to the the movies? Remember when he was wearing a cop at the drive-in? Yeah, mm -hmm. the drive-in. Oh yeah, he he would join these different organizations so he could get the kids there. Oh. Know, and get everybody in for free all the time. Well, you know, they go in the car. You know how to work the system? What's that? I said we, I me and all our boyfriends. We would always go to the 44 driving, because yeah. Dad would get us in, but then you'd yeah, be knocking on the window. Oh, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey. But everybody loved the Hank. It's it like, they thought it was cool. They all knew yeah. him, yeah. yeah. He was a people person, person, people person. Oh. She didn't, she didn't. She's just standing there seeing how long. I mean, his only problem is he liked his beer on Friday and Saturday nights. <laughs> that was a problem. Yeah. Just on Saturday weekend. nights. Yeah. Just on the weekend. Just can't do much. So, you know, yeah, sometimes. but he was a happy. Yeah. yeah. He has a happy drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's kind of like me yeah, when I do get drunk. I mean, he wouldn't go out driving. I think we'd play cards or something. Yeah. Jump in the pool. Oh, we'd all, yeah, we'd, play, we'd have our card games. And that was all. Oh, my. Yeah, I heard Pinochle was always a popular game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then Henry the Blackie would get into it. I it was <laughs> damn time. Did you play quit. Pinochle? I don't know how to play Pinochle. Uh, <laughs> and Paul's yeah. wife lived with us, and uh, her and Dad clashed big time. <laughs> well, even when we didn't live, we used to come over. Yeah, but he loved Blackie. Oh, he oh did. yeah. He just he loved Blackie. Who was Blackie? Paul's That's wife. My wife. His wife, oh, okay. cause she, there were two Blackies. I mean, two two Blondies. My, no, my there was Harry's two Kathleen's. Two, oh, two Kathleen's. Yeah. My sister was Kathleen. My wife was Kathleen. Mm -hmm. So. She, my sister had blonde hair and my wife had black hair, so we used to go blonde and black. I see. Yeah. And she worked for Brownie. Yeah, yeah, she worked for Brownie, that's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so yeah, they, they used to do some stuff. Hmm. And it got to a point where my mom said, that's it. <laughs> Is the battery good enough? Yeah, yeah, it's good, thank you. Yeah, it'll last for a while. Um, I wanted to ask about your, um, your mother. Because um, I, I know that this would be uh, of interest to the um, to Joe's family too, because your yeah. sister is Kutz and you guys all, you know, that was that was, was their one, family yeah. too. So uh, if we could talk about your mother for a little bit and her family. Yeah. Well, mom was born in uh, in, in Austria. What was her name? Vienna, Austria. Austria. What, what was her name? Uh, what was your mom's name? Again? Her maiden name. Marie. Marie. Yeah. Marie. Yeah. Marie. Uh, Schneider. 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 Okay. S C H N E I D E R. Okay. And she was born in Vienna, Austria. Right. Bukovina. Bukovina. Uh, Which Bukovina? Dad was was from Bukovina. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Her, your dad was from Bukovina and your mom is from Vienna. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you call it Vienna, Vienna, German name for it? Vienna. Yeah. Yeah, but there's also a. Wien. Wien, yeah. Yeah. Wien? Wien, yeah. There's a, a yeah, but a Wien is German. Yeah, she was from Wien, German. Yeah. Oh, because it's a W, but it's pronounced with yeah. a E, right? Because yeah. my name is Wilhelm. That's uh -huh. the German. Uh -huh. William is Wilhelm. Right. Okay. And we used to tease her. Mm -hmm. uh, she, for, for mother? For mother, yeah. She'd come and she'd cook for us. Uh -huh. And she made vinegar and oil salad, you know? Yeah. Well, she couldn't say her bees. So he said, hey, Grant, you're going to fix some of that vinegar for us? Yeah. <laughs> and she just laughed because they just can't say the, the she bees. Was a, yeah. She was a good person. Oh, yes. She was a wonderful. Everybody loved her. Mm -hmm. She was very generous, too. Both of my parents were very generous. Mm -hmm. And they, they always were feeding somebody. If uh, I can remember during the, the, the Depression, we came, my mom got, went into the bakery and she, we had a a cabinet, a, a case in the back of the counter where we had all kinds of whipped cream stuff that was refrigerated mm -hmm. and she, we hadn't sold one cake and my mom started to cry and my dad said, don't cry, the children are going to enjoy this. He was, it was an organization wow. of homeless children yeah. that he, that would be going to. Wow. Yeah. He was always feeding somebody. 
Kind of like a food pit, which I've been there, but only. Yeah. yeah. They're, they were the first ones to kind of do that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I think people used to share quite a bit yeah. um, back then. My, my grandfather on the other side um, shared what they had. They, they grew up in Ohio on a farm, and uh, during the Depression, they shared what they had. Uh-huh. And that's good. Um, so your, your parents had the bakery? Right. And where was the bakery at? Uh, well, we had one on uh, Cicero Avenue up in Chicago, mm-hmm. and the other one was on by Montos in Milwaukee mm-hmm. in Chicago. When, when did it open, and how long did it have? Oh, gosh. Before you were born? No. No, I... My dad was working, my dad, the two, two brothers were working on the south side of Chicago, and they got along like cats and dogs. And uh, so then my dad finally split up with Uncle Steve, and he maintained the bakery on, in uh, Chicago on the south side. And then my dad opened up this bakery on the northwest side of Chicago, 3250 North Cicero Avenue. At the address. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, I, I'm very impressed, Bob. Yeah. Told you you were looking better today. Yeah. yeah. Sharp as a tack. So, um, so yeah. they had the bakery. And, you know. About what year was that, you think, he opened it? 20? Oh, I must have been about three years old. I see, about 26. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right before the Depression hit. Yeah. Oh, that's just during, before the Depression War twenty. And that's during Prohibition, I think. Yeah, we were there during the Depression. The uh, Prohibition, Al Capone. they used to make beer in the bathtub. Oh, yeah? Uncle Bill? Who made beer in the bathtub? Is that Uncle Frank? Uncle, no, Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill. beer in the Uncle basement. It was we went down there and saw it. They had a cellar down, downstairs in the, in the basement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you would do our laundry and stuff in there, and then we'd also make beer. Basement, yeah. Your parents, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, all of the in-laws, Uncle Carl, and my my mother's brother, and all of the. Well, family. I could stop you. You're German, and you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then it's we in your had, blood. We had some Literally. that lived in Park Ridge, Illinois, mm-hmm. and that was a farm out there. Yeah, Park Ridge. I think that's where Joe lived. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, and he he knew these relatives too. Mm-hmm. That was. Uh, my Aunt Lizzie, mm-hmm. how's that name for a German name? <laughs> That's, I guess, where Elizabeth mm-hmm. and Lizzie would call it. Oh. Well, that would be uh, 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 No. What's there? She's just going to look at the screen. <laughs> trying to look at a funny video. Yeah. <laughs> you better get a big nose in it. Oh, you're I'll getting all back this back. On, on the yeah. Uh, there? Yeah. yeah. Ram Jerry? Ram Jerry? Ram Jerry? Ram Jerry? Don't worry about it. Let me take you out. Chris is on the way. <laughs> Chris, Brother Chris. Now, my brother Chris lived with your grandparents. There he is. Oh. For a year. So he ain't ran with Dale and all that. Oh. This is him now. How you doing? He's the worst good boy in the world. No! I'm Billy. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Alas. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, Mom. Hi, Mm. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Don't you look good today? Looks more like mom. Yeah. yeah. I told her Monday when I was up here, she didn't work. Well, it's her hair. Was it her hair? Yeah. <laughs> I see a lot of your dad in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait till he speaks. He's a good looking fellow, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You're you. quick. <laughs> you. I was just going to take her out. You can have this chair. She's go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, Chris. So, yeah, um, Chris, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, tape- I'm recording this uh, okay. on the iPad. Uh, we're talking about your parents. They can't see you. You're off the Come camera. Come here. Yeah. So, here, get this I, I don't know if you want to be in it. Around. You don't have to be in it. You my know, my image doesn't show up on the camera. Can there, to, we can blur you out <laughs> if you want and code your, your voice. But uh, we were just talking about um, her folks and, uh, you know, some that we have in common and then um, her mom's side. Okay. Um, who's uh, of interest to uh, to Joe's family because they were, just, you know, toots and, and uh, Right. You know, we're, we're sisters, so the cousins are the same stuff like that. So we were just talking about all of that, and, and I went over already um, what I know, but I can go over to you and uh, 
No, I, I just stopped by. I got a, yeah, I got a meeting at one. I got to go to. But okay, well, I can pause this if you just want to. No, no, do whatever you got to do. Um, Jimmy Irons will be here next Friday. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Irons, Jim Boy. Oh, really? He goes stop by. He's on his way to turkey hunt. Oh, down in Mass. Yeah. So I talked to him and Uncle Joe last night. Uncle Joe's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I just came from. Uncle Joe. I stayed with Uncle Joe. Yeah. Yeah, I can see he's, he's quick. I'm okay. Gonna watch this. You can squeeze your, squeeze your little booty butt in here now. Coffee's <laughs> fine. That's normal. Yeah. I forgot who it was. Someone told me a joke. Oh, it was Gary. Gary Warren. Um, I was drinking beer and I had to go pee and he's like, did you know why you have to pee uh, faster when you drink beer than when you drink water? And I said, no, why? He's like, because it doesn't have to change color. <laughs> what did you say? So um, I, was, I was drinking beer with uh, Carolyn yeah. and, uh, and her husband, Gary, and then I had to go to the bathroom and, and, he, and he said, oh, do you know why you have to pee? sooner when you drink beer than when you drink water. And I said, no, why? He said, because it doesn't have to change color. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. There's chili. Uncle Joe? No, uh, Carolyn. In Carolyn? Florida. Oh, okay. There's chili, chicken and dumplings, lunch meat. I went to uh, I went to Florida and stayed with Carol. I drove up to uh, Virginia and stayed with Jean, Jean uh -huh. and her family, mm -hmm. and then uh, went up to Chicago and, and uh, stayed with uh, with Joe and uh, hung out with uh, Annie and Karen and uh, Karen, Bob. Joni and, and some other. Okay. Oh yeah, and then Bob and Madge came over and did the same thing. Recorded a conversation about you know uh -huh. the parents. Oh, I bet that was interesting. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, why are you laughing? I, I don't know, it was. <laughs> what? <laughs> it wasn't, yeah, I mean, that, that was, you know, but, so I got on her good ear and I sat right there. But that's said with love, Madeline. Very, you know, directly, so there was a, there was some of that, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was, it's good to catch that on um, tape too, so oh, preserve yeah. that, you know, oh, that's how we remember her. her. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We love her. So she's incredible. But it's just fun. Oh, God, yeah. Who's missing now? Paul. Yeah. Paige. She's a trip. She's all right. Yeah. Chris is the one that has more information now. Yeah, you can't say anything bad about it. Well, that Friday night, everybody come over on Joe's? No, they came over on Sunday. Oh, Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. So, God, he got started when he started. Yeah, that episode. Unfortunately, Sunday morning. So, yeah, so I was there Friday night. We just had Uncle. hung out, we talked. He stayed up kind of late. I was up until like 11, 11, 11, 30, and he was still up. And then he didn't have nine kids. He had like eight or six. Made him, yeah, made him push it too much because the next morning, Margaret, Anne and I left to the city. I got him all straight to Chicago. I never been there before. And she got the text at the end of the episode. I love Take him in. You know, he had a couple episodes out of the hospital, and so they kept him overnight. And then he came home the next day. But he missed the Saturday I was just when, trying to figure out or what Sunday, when we were all there. So he was back Monday morning, and, you know, I stayed there Monday night. Okay. Left, got here yesterday. Okay. So, um, yeah. Cool. You're going all over. Where's your next stop? Going back home. Where is she? Uh, San Diego. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And I'm putting, putting all the stuff together. He knows together. the San Diego Eagle boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, Uncle yeah. Tim, Uncle Dale. Mm -hmm. Um... Jane, and, uh, you know, they just sold the house on Georgina. Oh, I didn't know uh, they sold just it. Just sold it this, 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 this year. I think, yeah. No, I think it sold last year. Mm -hmm. Anyways, okay. yeah, I was cleaning out and I got a bunch of pictures and stuff and kind of showing them. Oh, did you, guys, did you get, well, I guess you went through the house. I went through the house, got the paperwork and um, made pictures. That was a big job. And they donated Jane. the boat? They, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think they donated the boat, and then, yeah, they sold the house. They were able to sell a couple of the larger items. I think they sold the RV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Tim, he was, he was a riot. We used to go fishing. Who? Tim? Tim. Yeah. Lake Cuyamaca. Yep. yep. Sneak in there and catch fish. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been in with that group. Yeah. Yeah. Scott. <laughs> yeah. So what? Uh, Donna. Did you get to see Donna much? No, but I did talk to her on the phone. When I was at Carol's, uh, she called and I talked to her. But she's, yeah, she's out in, the, in La Jolla. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So I, last time I saw her was when uh, Dave was kind of going downhill mm -hmm. in 2005. Okay. That's the last I saw her. And then Jane moved to Virginia last year, huh? Yep. Wow. <coughs> and uh, Russell Bond lives up there. Oh, he does? Oh, yeah. Okay. He lives up in East Park. He's lobbyist. Yeah, I know. I didn't know that. Nine more. He's always traveling everywhere. Oh, you know. he really is a lobbyist. I thought that was like he a, was. your nickname for him. No, uh, he really, he really is. Or yeah. was. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, now he's working for some computer company. Really? Okay. Trying to teach software. I gotta go potty. Uh, Everybody, I break gotta time. go potty. <laughs> <laughs> Commercial. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got that on tape, Mom. You gotta go potty. I did. At least you said it like a lady. <laughs> and that's a great I gotta sure. take a lady. Oh. Yeah. Okay, take off running. I'm free? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got your leash. Uh, what coffee did you brew today? Both of them. Both of them? Mm -hmm. the, the dark roast is already gone, the medium roast. Is the medium is a little weaker, huh? Yeah, I think the flavor is a little bit less. I don't yeah. know about the strength of it. Okay, that's weird. Um, that's all right. It all works. I guess so you, you probably found a whole bunch of stuff because you lived out there for me. Did you live out there? When? What time period did you live there? 83, 84, I think. Oh, you, I just you missed and you. I went out there. Yeah. What's that? Dale? Not Dale. Yeah. The other I was one. working on that power line out there they ran from Yuma to San Diego down to Tijuana. Yeah. All that fun stuff. Yeah. That was just a one year. Two years. Visit. Well, did, you, did you live at the house in Georgina or did you get your own place? I lived in Georgina for the first couple of months and then I got an apartment out in Alcohol, which was yeah. closer to my office. Kick them out. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the office was in Hamul. That was like 30 miles. Yeah. But it was fun. But I'd still drive in there every night no matter what anyway. <coughs> Chill Vista? Yeah. Hang out? And hang out, go yeah. out to the boat and fish. Yeah, yeah. and, and we went Sleep up. on that thing and fish. Yeah. He'd wake up with a big old thresher shark. <laughs> <laughs> was that the was that the boat to Marguerite? Yeah. 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 Named, that was named after Margie's mom, okay. who, uh, who died. Uh, she was only a year and a half old of appendicitis in 1929. Oh. Well, now who uh, who lived in Wisconsin? Um. Carol lived there for a period. Yeah, but I thought it was uh, Aunt Margie's mother. Aunt Margie's mom. So, oh, so, so she was raised by Ann Packer. Uh, so, um, she was. So her mom died when she was a year and a half, and her dad. Because Jane used to go up there and visit her periodically. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it, it, it was Aunt, it was um, Grandma, um, Grandma Hacker. Okay, that Aunt. sounds right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, that was 25 years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I know when we were at Boston, what, or not Boston, some, somewhere, and uh, they were, his, your husband, uh, uh, not your husband, they, my dad. Yeah, your dad. He made beer getting stuff down there, the made, bottom. Made beer what? Beer. Uh -huh. Oh, made beer. Beer, yeah, oh. in the bathtub. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Really? Uncle Bill. Uh, Uncle, I mean, I mean, Uncle Bill, when he lived out in the real, deer boy. The real guy. Uncle Bill is grandpa to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's grandpa to you. Yeah, that's right, my grandpa. I, I, I don't doubt it. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, yeah. They lived in Illinois, up in Deerfield. Yeah, yeah until 1960. Yeah, they oh. called the beer Bullfrog. <laughs> bullfrog, huh? That was the name of it. <laughs> you take one sip, one leak, and you croak. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of why it was called Bullfrog. It's funny. <laughs> well, I hope they cleaned up the bathtub before they needed it. Who knows? That's going back a long time. Damn. Late 50s. Before 1960, yeah, they moved out of there in 1960. No way. <clears throat> my, my grandfather moved out of that house in 1960 and moved to Chula Vista. Where did they move out there? Chula Vista in San Diego. My grandpa Bill. 
left in sixty. Yeah, left Deerfield in nineteen sixty and moved to San Diego. That would be about right, yeah. Well, no, because we were living in St. Yeah, Louis. In Boston, we went from Boston in sixty two. Yeah, but he came through here. He came through St. Louis in the seventies. It doesn't. I don't know if it's exactly 1960. It might be 61 or 62. I'm just saying about 1960. That's when they okay. headed down there. That was in the 70s. Yep. Because he came with Donna, Jane, and oh, Mike. Oh, I I have a picture of that actually. Shoot, but it's on the computer. Because yeah, he had a. Uh, I got. Uh, what do you call it? Pictures. Ford station wagon. <coughs> Lunch. Yeah, I think I might as well eat my lunch now. Right? Yeah, I think I have, I have a picture of that too. The van got later. You know, I don't know if we're living in St. Louis because he broke the ditch or something. Where are we going? You can go on my chair. They, they came by to visit in 1976. Maybe that's what it was. They came by to visit at that, house, yeah. at that house there. Peter Crafter just came out. Because he had just retired, I think, from the uh, Navy. Yeah. And was traveling around. Yeah. Well, Dad, okay. No, oh, Bill. Bill. And I knew we saw him one time after that. Mm -hmm. And then Jane and Donna was in and Mikey flew in to join them. Oh, that, but it was out. He was in jail back then, even? No. It was on Frederick Lane. Frederick Lane. That was Mikey. Yeah. Well, it was in the Pacific. Pacific, that was like in the we were little. We, I was really little back then. No, we lived in Pacific. Yeah. Dad got his, had a 56 and a 58 Chevy, so it's Edwin back then. He had, that, he had that blue 56 Chevy and then he had that 58 Coral Chevy. And he used to drive like a madman. He used to take us up and down the hill. <coughs> Oh, yes. Our stomach used to go. Uh, and then he was Mr. Perfect. <laughs> I remember him flying on that badge. Get out of trouble. <laughs> There's an American Legion out there he used to take us to. He used to go in the back and play the slot machine on. Yeah. Remember yeah. That? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, say it again. The there was an American Legion out in the Pacific and he used to go back and play the slot machines behind him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. When we lived in Pacific, yeah. yeah. My dad drove our Honda. I remember that. Sorry. Okay. Dad, dad put some straw out there or something to teach Mom how to Sorry. use. How do you do it? Smitty. Smitty lived down two, two houses down. Yeah. Dad's, dad's tra tra training her how to, for her Grow up parking. Yeah, she was trying to get mom to drive. She's te uh -huh. he's teaching her how to drive now. Remember? I remember that. Yeah, I do because I remember the things on there. Because that was the block, so she, so she runs into it, and then if she does run into it, you don't remember that? No, that don't mean nothing. You're talking. 50 years ago. <laughs> she said Dad was teaching how to drive. He had bales of hay to park in between so you wouldn't hurt anything. I did. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I remember. Now that she brings it up, yeah, I remember. I don't. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's when you picked Dad up. Yeah. Yeah. That was you and me. I didn't want to tell him that he was going to hit the bushes. So I started to sing, in the bushes we will go. <laughs> yep. It's over here, Mom. Yeah, oh, this one right here, too. Probably nasty. She already called once. Sure. Ours right there is Paul speaking. <laughs> Not a whole lot. We're over here with uh, Billy, just going back over time. Yeah. I'm going to stop this. So you guys the pictures. <laughs>